New this morning, Lebanon homeowners are showing acts of kindness, one can good at a time. As part of our acts of kindness stories during the COVID-19 pandemic, WCPO 9 News reporter Paolo Suro takes a look at where those canned goods are headed to and how you can make a difference in your neighborhood. Being together while staying apart. It was that, that frustration of wanting to help more, trying to find a way to, to feel united still uh, from a distance. In this case, united from the garage of these Lebanon homes. Where Danielle Weaver and other volunteers grab donations left there by homeowners trying to make a difference during COVID-19. People are kind of frustrated. They don't know how to help, but they want to help. But we're doing the right thing by staying at home. She calls it the neighborhood challenge. Now she's challenging you to take out that frustration. It was kind of just an idea for people to donate and then I would drive around and pick up the things. So far, four subdivisions in Lebanon have been up to the task, this one being the fifth. We're hoping that it really catches on. A pick-me-up. It's been huge. During these trying times, where all donations are headed to the Lebanon Food Pantry. They're always needing items, uh, to, especially right now, when people are scared to, to go out and there's even more needy people. So it's the usual people who, who need food, but also people who have recently been laid off. It's a whole new demographic of people that are needing help. And they set up a Facebook page with what they're hoping you can donate. You can find that on WCPO.com. But for the most part, they're looking for non-perishable items. That includes your pasta and your canned foods. Yeah, we're just battling with so many unknowns, and I know people are frustrated and scared. She reaches out to neighborhoods through Facebook, emails, even the next door app. And just like that, the help comes right to the doorstep. Social distancing is the way to go right now. It's what we really need, but that doesn't mean that we can't be working together to help people. Paolo Soro, WCPO 9 News.